Hello, J. Derv. Hello, J. Derv. Oh, hello. Testing. How's my audio? Can you hear me all right? It's very, very good. Um, I'm glad you've you've slipped back into the J. Derv persona instead of uh, instead of the infrared Thank you. persona. I, I have many alter egos. I've switched into the uh, the more gate one for now. Okay, that's great. But just well, to um, well, I do, I do, you, I do enjoy oh. it. So, um, but real quick question. I forgot. Uh, what are your pronouns? They are he him. Okay, excellent. Um, all right. So, what's your problem with me tonight? What are you trying to? What are you going to try and clip me on tonight? What am I on tonight? Oh, <laughs> well, I've got the clip machine on and ready. But can I clarify oh, yeah. some few things of you? Sure, please. Um, what about spoon. that clip that you saw? Do you think is misinformation? Oh, like, you everything. Define misinformation like you know exactly me. what that is. You know exactly. What don't, don't don't play the game. I, I, don't, I don't play this. Uh, Jader, don't play this game with me, my friend. You know exactly no, what you were doing with that. I in remember fact, during the entirety of our conversation. I remember in you. My listen, mind, listen. I kept, my I dude, kept referring to that clip in my mind. You can't. You can't. It's really funny, but like. You you're not gonna pull the wool over my eyes. I see through this. Like you literally posted immediately to DGG. You knew exactly what you were doing, and then your your desperately small Twitter account. You plugged that out, and you were fucking. I, I think you. I think you literally added like um omni liberal if i remember correctly <laughs> come on that's so listen, desperate do you know what listen. wait wait hold on jader jader listen hear me okay, out on this okay there's a thing that i've said that like a lot of twitter is uh desperate clout vampires and they're scuttling around under the table licking up dried blood drippings from the wine glasses of the vampire lords who are clinking their glasses and then down below there's these just licking up the little like scrap the scabby scraps of dripped blood don't be that person don't be that one but you don't want to be a thrall you don't want to be a thrall listen i'm a clout monger i will do whatever it takes so I desperate don't really, nothing, nothing in the description you gave me i find all that objectionable that is me and i feel like i am very confident in that role yeah okay well very well i mean i would say that it's not necessary but um if if that's what you want if you want to be scuttling around on the dirt like licking up the scabs off of other people's hard work and and content then that's fine j derv i can't play <laughs> i can't i can't play, but don't bullshit it don't bullshit me about it you know what you were doing okay well first of all demo mom this coming from someone who is basically a glorified react channel Okay, let's talk about let's talk about siphoning other yeah, people's content. So, well, now, what uh, what whoa, do you whoa, whoa, do whoa, all day? Hold and on, night? just a second. Now, I will say, in cert, to a certain degree, I am a glorified React channel. To I will agree to a certain degree. But let's just remember that I have been fueling the fires of Twitch React, of all of the Twitch politics space, including the number one, the second, sorry, the number two streamer. Oh, oh, wait a minute, number three. My bad. Destiny's been bumped down to number three now. The number three Twitch politics streamer have been have been using me for content for the last two weeks. So let's let's not get it confused here. I, I made some fucking hot and spicy original content that they've been fucking sucking off for a week. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I guess that's, a, that's an accomplishment for a glorified React channel, but it is true. Uh, a lot of what I do, I do eight hour streams. A lot of times I'm just watching C-SPAN and giving my thoughts and reactions to it. But hey, guess what? People love that shit. Yeah. That is perfectly valid, but I will have to say, I do sincerely struggle to understand how that clip was, in my mind, misinformation. I think, I still, to this day, don't really know fully what you believe about the Holodomo. So can you just, Wait, like, clarify what, I, what, what you I believe think about happened? the Holodomo? Oh, I think, like, it was, like, a, a, a horrible fucking atrocity. Um, and, uh, and fucking, like, I have no fucking love for Stalin, like, at all. Like, it was a fucking terrible event. Like, I don't know. Like, there seems to be a considerable amount of, like, historical, like, his historian disagreement as to how far, like, how much culpability is owned to the Russian, is, like, owed directly to, like, Stalin himself. But, but nonetheless, it's a fucking disaster of an event. And China is, like, if we're going to talk about events, like, that we're talking about, like, uh, the other day, like, China is right now engaged in a cultural genocide. So... I don't have any problem. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know where the impression that I'm like some sort of like um, USSR or or um, ML Stan comes from. A couple of people have tried that on me, but it doesn't really work because I don't believe that at all. It could be. Maybe I'm misrepresenting you. But let me you, give you, you, you a, definitely 100% are because maybe, like maybe I am. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, can you, can we, maybe you can clarify that for me now. Well, yeah. Okay, let's have a hypothetical. Let's say you as a content creator, uh -huh. you see a Nazi, a right wing person, uh -huh. and they are literally in the act of cackling in front of like a pile of genocided corpses in the Holocaust. And they go, ah, ha, ha, the sixth gorillion, the sixth gorillion. 
Then they go, well, actually, I believe the Holocaust happened. It was a very tragic event. But see, Would you believe you, you've, now, you've now changed the entire context because the clip that I was literally laughing at had, I think, now that I've gone back and looked at the footage, I think it had two images of the Holodomor and then three images that had no caption whatsoever. So me joking about the, um, the uh, very, very uh, historically well-documented fact that America uses, uh, like they gr greatly over-exaggerate in the name of, um, of like saying, oh, the, the black book of communism, this idea that there's like, there's literally a museum. We have a fucking museum that's run by the heritage foundation that just, uh, counts every person who's ever died in a, in a, uh, in a communist country as like a death due to communism which is just disgustingly dishonest this isn't even they're not even comparable like like what you're the, the comparison you're trying to make is just it, it is what it is misinformation i mean it is what it is but i don't really know how much i can i am um, have the capacity to believe you wait so like wait what do you if, actually if, think listen, listen, listen here. if i was speaking to a nazi and they uh was it they just say well actually i don't doubt the holocaust i'm just like very um very dubious of the numbers Six million, I don't know, a hundred thousand maybe. But, that in my mind still sets off. When have I a ever when have I flags. ever when have I ever said anything about uh Yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen, we can I mean, get some clips I mean, out is, of you on this one, J Derf. No, but is that not what you just did saying I don't doubt I don't deny the no, whole don't worry. I just don't believe I the numbers. I don't believe well, the black I literally though, I literally didn't say anything about the, the, the um the Holodomor numbers. Like I think Do you the believe numbers the numbers are, are inflated? No, absolutely not. No, I don't think there's so anything. The I don't think there's anything. Is real. No, no, the Black Book of Communism is something completely different. Like, I, I don't know if you know what the Black Book of Communism is. The Black Book of Communism is like an ongoing um, right wing um, propaganda campaign here in the United States that like started somewhere in like the post McCarthy era. Um, yeah, it's very silly. But no, as far as the Holodomor goes, no, I don't think there's anything about that. I mean, historians have a whole like it's an incredibly complicated event in the past. Absolutely, I don't think that, but I don't think that that downplays it at all. Um, like I've never once and wouldn't. And again, the other thing is like the, this, I, this attempt at like playing equivalent between like somebody, um, like deftly dodging the, um, the like questions about the Holocaust. Like what the fuck are you even talking about? Like, I'm very honest about my opinions. I've been like, I've been doing this for a year. You can go back and you can literally see me like talk about other stuff like this. I've argued with a million fucking tankies about this shit. Yeah, I don't know what you're I don't know what you're getting at. It seems like what you're trying to do is like you were really trying to like shove me into a box of a stereotype that like isn't even like remotely close. It would be like, I don't know. I don't even know. I, you know what it feels like? It feels like when Republicans call Joe Biden a Chinese communist. That's what it feels like. It's like so ridiculous that it's like clownish. Um, Could do. But yeah, hey, DS, I mean, D, hey, hey, DSK fell for it. So there's that. But then again, I don't really, I, mean, I, I don't know, like, I don't know. I mean, if, I don't listen, know if I mean, I'm, I'm ultimately inclined to believe you because you're telling me it. And I tend to take people out their word, right? Especially right. in that space where I believe if you had an edgy take, you would just drop that on me. Yeah. Unless well, you're I concerned mean, about I've, optics. I mean, I've, 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 I've had many an edgy, an edgy take in the past. Um, but like, but I, I, they're all on my channel. Like, I don't know. I just, I find it funny when people criticize me about stuff I don't even believe, like don't even come close to. Um, but you know, whatever. Uh, you know, such as your um, yeah, attempt. But, but, yeah, well, I'm sure well, you'll. Probably... Well, you as a content creator and political figure don't have the um, the hegemony on being misrepresented. I feel like most political figures feel that way to some extent or form. Well, yeah. I, I mean, mean, I don't but know. There's, I, but there's... I don't know. If, if... I know people like uh, what is it like Ben Shapiro object to being called racist. Do you ever call Ben Shapiro racist? I don't know if I've called. Well, I don't know if I've. I personally call. I don't know if I've personally called Ben Shapiro racist, but I do think he's kind of racist. No. Yeah. But like the, the yeah, because no, 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 because when people call Ben Shapiro racist, they don't ask for verbal confirmation. They say, "I've oh, looked yeah. at like the well, content of, of what you've yeah, produced what over you, the years, what you... and, from, and I can, I can define. I can like sure, but then what, what, can you what can you define from my jubilee. content that's even like what what could you po what could you define from my content that wasn't obviously you getting either like angry as shit over me making fun of the vegan person i don't know maybe maybe they're like your sister or something I'm it, sorry. It, it was the laughing in front of the genocided corpses for me which right. i don't i don't know if that's the that, wait, did, uh, wait like oh, like hold on a sec i can't tell if this is like still performative or like if you're actually bothered by that 
Okay, so I need to be performatively bothered. No, no, I'm just no, no. I'm, I'm trying corpses. to understand what you're coming from. My, I was not laughing at genocide corpses, and you know that I wasn't laughing at genocided corpses. They I was were laughing in the at. Back. You were I really was, looking. At I was them. literally laughing at the fact that a this vegan person was trying to use contextless images of horrible historical events in order to try to to make an argument that was veganism or anti-capitalism is anti-vegan which is an absurd um statement but that video was it, like not only was it like brain pretzeled as far as like argument is concerned but it was also like hilariously stereotyped like if you were to think of like an american person who knows nothing about like anything outside of the u.s and what they would think of communism it's like that is what that video was that video was like distilled american mccarthyism anti-communism it's like russia did a bad thing it's 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 a tentacle like a like an octopus shaped like fucking stalin is crawling all over the world it's like okay like that is funny to me that is very funny to me yeah so all right, well, I, I think in your efforts to call me out for misinformation, you have to avoid doing misinformation yourself because these were not contextless images at all. They were contextless. They had images. many of them a text under them, many of them, like the word little holodomer no, was floating you beside your you head as you, you were laughing. You can't really believe this, Jay Derv. Like, you, you, I. No, God, this is, this is, I this can't is tell, gaslighting. I can't tell. This is immense gaslighting. No, 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 no. no. I, I can't tell if you're like desperately, like desperately trying to save face and like you actually have something on the line or if this is just like further. Uh, like, I don't know, like, like further attempts to try and like, uh, I don't know. Like, are you, I can't tell how devoted you are to the character. Like, you can't believe that. Like, if I right now, if like, if I was like making like a phenomenally sh like stupid and dishonest argument, and I just happened to flash some random literal low, like low, uh, resolution screenshots that I took from, from Wikipedia. That is what is basically the definition of a contextless image. Sorry. I mean, you say context to be. It wasn't a context to me because you were reacting to the image itself. No, you were saying I was the one no, brilliant. Was literally, hey, 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 real quick, real quick. When Nazis look at the Holocaust and go, "Aha, the sixth gorillion." What does gorillion mean? Huh? When you say one gorillion in reference to the Holodomor, what does that mean? Yeah. When I'm... Nazis say six gorillion in reference to the Holocaust, what does that mean? Wait, they're two. It's it's literally a joke about the fact that this person is exaggerating. And when the when Nazis do it, they're literally talking about something completely different. They're talking about a completely different event, and their implication is that uh, is that people that Jewish people have lied about the Holocaust. That's their implication. And my and your implication is really and, that these no, weird Western actually, academics who I mean, are not in any way Jewish gonna... are lying about the Holodomor. No, there wasn't an academic there at all. In fact, I was literally, specifically, in context, the video which is up on my channel and anybody can watch, uh, was making fun of the fact that this this painfully uh, politically incompetent uh, vegan was... Uh, was literally just trying to fearmonger around communism in the service of saying that any anti-capitalist ideology is inherently anti-vegan, a position which I think is like childishly ridiculous. So I mean, yeah, that's perfectly. But, but, but here's the thing: but, I have but, to uh, ask in my head. It's like, like it, 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 you're, you're stretching I, 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 so I, hard for this, and it's like if you really I, had I, to take I, that. I'm I was... being, I've, I've, I've already said I believe you. Okay, okay I'm already right. being well, much more that. charitable to you than I am very confident you would ever be to me in a million years. Oh, hush. I think if you call me Excuse laughing me. at any any genocide, going aha six gorillion, I do not think you would accept any degree of backpedaling from me ever. Mm. But of course, I am the good faith one here, so I am the one extending my hand out to you. Yes, yes, yes. Good faith, J Derv. The the TikTok clip clip chimp, yes, indeed, G greatest faith Period. ever. But I do appreciate you at least um offering uh do appreciate you at least offering to say that you uh you definitely believe me or at least you say you believe me and then also qualifying that immediately. You know, there's I like, there's, like there's probably I, I, I takes of mine that you don't agree that you like legitimately don't agree with that you don't have to like uh like air puff into being something that it's not. Like what you're doing is you're just being like like what this is is this is um. What is the term? It's where like you latch onto something really tiny and then you try to blow it into it. It's not tiny. It is tiny. It's very Laughing tiny. Laughing in front of genocided corpses is not that, a minor you know micro that, You know that's not what it was. You know that I was laughing at the logic. It's very clear. Anybody who watched that's why your video didn't stick. Sorry. It didn't. Nobody buys it. Nobody who watches that buys it because it's obvious. Everybody, you don't um, even I'm need, not, you don't I'm... even need context to watch that shit and to go, 
oh yeah this is like clearly a clip chimp like it was um, that's why i said you tried too hard you tried too hard it's too air puffed listen could be but while we're on the subject of what is it good faith yeah yeah can you can you clarify something for me real quick oh, boy, um here we go in the past mm -hmm. what have you told what well, what do you think should happen to nazis what do you, as a public content creator, advocate their audience goes out and does to Nazis while we're on the subject of acting in good faith and Oh, what do I think that people should do to Nazis? Yes. Um, I think that they should uh, uh, denounce them and uh, shun them and, uh, well, shun them for their views, not like literally from their entire life. Obviously, they should have rights and um, if and and protest them. Yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I've ever advocated for on this channel. No, no, no hot takes on political violence. No, no takes actually, on believe it or not, no, I've been very well. Okay, when it comes to deplatforming, um, I think there are some Nazis who I think like I would I would say it's like I'm okay with them being like reported if they're because they're like literally in violation of TOS. Um, but uh, in general, I don't really advocate for that type of thing, and I especially I've never in this channel I've literally had for a year I've had um very explicit um position i don't i do not this on this channel i like i do not advocate for or push for um like political violence at all in fact and one of my most one of my earliest dramas ever was me getting mad at um kentucky fried comrade for being like super fucking edgy about like him saying that like he pushed for like uh, violence against people of like i think it was like patriot prayer or something I'm like dude that's like fucked like that's not what i do it's not what i'm about and it's not really what i advocate for i think that like for the most part um the best thing that we can possibly do is make them politically irre um, irrelevant by making people aware of how toxic their ideology is um and if they are using a platform to like actively um push violence then yeah i think that i think that like there's a reasonable there's like a reasonable case to be made for deplatforming in certain cases like if you have like um like there was somebody who um used to go on panels frequently um and they were they would like advocate for like harming children and stuff and i felt like that was like a super like not only in violation of tos but also in violation of the spirit of tos like using twitch's platform to to like advocate for the harming of children like those types of people i think i'm okay with um with like uh deplatforming but i i literally we have very strict rules on my um server and on my chat about not brigading like and we enforce those very very firmly so yeah maybe but while you were saying that i was taking the opportunity to read your chat and i see a comment from dango bangle mm -hmm. all nazis should be removed from society and deprogrammed first of all removed from society is like a dog whistle for violence it's the same way vosh uses i i know you hate being compared to him but i will say other left-wing content creators use the term removed um well, sure. i feel vosh like amongst... and i have very different opinions yeah. on this um like like and i all respect to what Vosh does and how he does his stuff. Like I really, obviously I really enjoy Vosh's content. I have some disagreements with him. Um, and, uh, I, I don't, I don't use this platform to advocate for, um, violence at all. But people have opinions in chat that are different. It's not illegal to have an opinion like that. I just, I don't like my chat is people. And, um, if there's like explicit calls for violence, we ban that out. If people say stuff like, I don't know, like that's not my problem um as no, I, far as i, I say the, yeah. the the issue i have of someone like you who has the audience that you do yeah, I um because i assume sure. that you have i assume there's lots of bleed over between your audience and other like content creators obviously um depends so, on the one I've, i actually have kind of um i have a pretty like i, I wouldn't say I mean, there's a lot of overlap but it's not who you would expect um like i do have a little bit of overlap with vosh uh, because i spent so much time in vosh's chat back in the day um but other than that, it's mostly like smaller, like smaller and mid-sized po politics streamers, um, as far as the analytics go. But yeah, sure. Good to yeah. What I'm trying to drill you on is at the end of our conversation, which I also clip chimped, was that you ended up saying, "I think that guy was a literal Nazi." Now, by the way, I don't oh, yeah, know how. Oh yeah, I do. I do still. I do still like... kind of think you're a Nazi. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Wait. I do have that suspicion. How, how can you be so absolutely pressed about me calling you a tanky? Then just drop that bomb. Well, because well, because first of all, you 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 drew first blood, and second of all, I'm very sus of you. Let's just put it that way. I'll call it a hunch. I mean, I'm sus of I'm sus of you, but I just said I'm willing to state. Oh yeah, but, you're not but see, but see, there's a difference, which is that um oh, okay. with you, 
you literally drew first blood. You spent like an hour trying to clip chimp me, and then you immediately posted it to DGG to try to turn and to that like makes me, try that and, makes me a Nazi. Uh, no, but it d definitely does mean it. Definitely, d it doesn't necessarily mean you're a Nazi, but it does mean that I don't feel too bad about speculating on a hunch. You know, like uh, I believe okay, but, that but, I owe, but, but, I believe you... I owe charitability of equal kind. And I think there's very little charitability I owe to somebody who's going to run to DGG and try and dump listen, that shit on there. Listen, do you not see the dichotomy between, like, these are not, compa I don't know, comparable comparisons, whatever the word is. Um, me calling you a tanky is an ineffective, esoteric act. That's because I believe it to be sincerely true. Wait, but this is what Nazis um, say, it, it, though. It, it, this is like the Nazi argument. Like, Nazis literally go like, oh, oh, the lefties, they call me a Nazi, and oh, that's so bad. Free speech is being ruined. No, is is that wrong? Listen, I think when far left, well, when, when alternative left content creators, ah, people here not, we go. I think, what? <laughs> Give it to memes. All right, alternative left. Let's do okay. it. Come on, hit me with them. Hit me with them. Wait, why don't you like that term? Uh, I just find it really funny. I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to set up. It just makes me laugh. Okay, I'm trying to horseshoe. I'm trying to horseshoe theory. Yeah, you're, you're doing really the hard. you're trying to do the horseshoe theory. Yeah. Which I, which I but kind like, of ironic. but knowing how much you court. Knowing how much you court DGG, that kind of makes it the fish hook, right? Because that would put you, like, trying to play equivalent between the left. Like, that would put you, like, what the Nazis are doing. You're, like, doing the same tactics as the Nazis, but you're, like, from, like, a centrist community or something, right? Listen, I'm I'm a, I'm a based high IQ centrist, but I don't oh, think sick. it's okay. comparable. Okay. Me calling, you, me calling you a tanky and you calling me a Nazi are completely different things. Mm, I disagree, right? if, I, for sure. if, if, so, if someone thinks that you have a weird take on the Hall of Jomar, that is just an esoteric quirk of you. Well, it's I not mean, going to have any real impact in your life. Well, I don't know. Like, uh, does me me calling you a Nazi has that? Uh, I don't think it's had any negative effect on your. Um, in fact, me calling you Nazi probably actually got you followers. To be completely honest, now that I'm thinking about it. Whereas you, what you did by, by posting that to DGG and giving them the impression that I'm a like giving them some ammo to call me uh, like a, some sort of Holodomor denial with nothing. And that, that, that perpetuates that in a, in a group of people that already hates my guts. Yeah, actually, I think you've probably done more material harm by calling me a tanky to my platform than I could ever do to you by calling you a Nazi. That's because you're a larger content creator. So any blood I draw from you is going to be like far more severe. But well, like, do you not understand? Do you, not like, usually, do you not, not usually. Do you not usually. Call, how are you calling me a Nazi out of nowhere is literally a call for violence. Or no. a call for deplatforming, a call for harassment. Not really. Because no, you know, because no, because things were in this uh, the online left spirit, they'll call people Nazis, and you look at these. Well, what do these people advocate their communities go out and do to Nazis? And normally, it's mm. harassment. I mean, you just asked me, and I told you exactly what. And I've been ridiculously consistent on my messaging. And in fact, my being consistent, your audience, your audience yeah. is talking and saying that Nazis need to be removed. Wait, wait. So what, the messaging wait. your audience got from one, your was that one, I need to be one person out of my audience um had said that that's their personal belief that's their thing like do you not believe do you believe that the only opinions that anyone in my audience could possibly have are ones that i give them that's silly that's ridiculous Wait, do you not believe you're account you are accountable for the opinions in your audience i'm not accountable for every opinion in my audience but i am accountable for my messaging and my messaging has been ridiculously con ridiculously consistent you can actually go back and watch my twitch the twitch vods that i've uploaded and you can see me saying this exact same thing that we don't use this platform that i don't use my platform to advocate for violence or brigading or anything of that type that's not what we do we are building like my, i've talked about this again and again and again that my community is about building things for for people that i care about not about tearing other people down even though I, I'm perfectly fine with criticizing people, I'm perfectly fine with calling fucking Ben Shapiro a piece of shit. Um, but but we don't fucking brigade or any of that shit. We've never done that. In fact, we punish it very harshly. So if somebody in my opinion in my uh, community um, has a different opinion than me, and it goes against um, the like at, like the consistent regular messaging, yeah, um, there are there there are people are allowed to have different opinions. And especially like if they, if people people there will be many people who will have different opinions. Do I think that I'm responsible for my messaging? Absolutely. Do I think that there's like um, there is a like pile on effect that can happen when content creators are irresponsible with their platform? Absolutely. But I don't think this is an example of it. I don't think you have the evidence to claim that I am the, an, an example of it. In fact, right. I'm so how, the are you not, how are you not? How are you not responsible for your messaging when you are? Oh, quite I am. Fully Wait, aware. I did. I literally just said I am responsible for my messaging, but yeah, my so messaging is perfectly fine. Then, 
is perfectly fine calling a Nazi, even though you are fully aware that there are those in your community who will take that as an active call to violence. No. See, that's you're, 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 you just reset back and just ignored everything that I just said, which is I explained that my messaging is consistent that even if I think somebody's a Nazi, that doesn't mean that you go after them. Like, I've been ridiculously consistent about that and literally back it up on the threat of saying you won't be a part of this community anymore if you do. So, I think yeah, you're I doing the Gamergate thing here. Am I speaking oh, totally. to Gamergate Mama? Oh, totally. Is, well, well yeah. my audience are harassing oh. them, but I don't oh, know. Oh, you got me. You got we me. After, after two weeks, after two weeks of being flooded with fucking hate, <laughs> you got me, dude. You got me. You I'm, I was the Gamer Gator all along. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, 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 secret. Wait, 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 weren't you really against this exact messaging just like two weeks ago saying that, well, you just because just because you as a creator abscond your responsibility doesn't mean you aren't no responsible for what your audience goes out and does, right? Mm, like no, you're I doing think that's, a, I think that's a very, I think, it, well, no, I think that's well, a very, they're, they're very like, oh, God, like, are you just... Uh, Jay Derv, come on. Like, I, I, here, Wait, how real quick, real quick, before I address this, and I will address this, don't worry, I'm not going to pivot away. I just want to say, you're really funny. Like, you're actually very funny and you're pretty quick. You should break out of the DGG sphere and stop licking Destiny's balls because I have a feeling that you could actually do some really fucking good content. You're really funny. And you clearly, like, you can clearly do multiple accents and all kinds of stuff. Like, you, you could, you could literally do this shit. But right now, what you're doing is you're like, it's it's actually sad. Like, you're literally trying to get like a, a, a switcheroo gotcha when you know for a fact that I was very clear with what, what my opinion is on this. And also, my behavior is not hypocritical on this whatsoever. I'm very careful with my messaging. In fact, like, wait, to how, the degree... What's how, that? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, I, have, I, have to stop, I have to stop you here. I'm not sure, interrupting, sure, but sure, I, sure, I, sure. I want to I stop you before you go uh, mm -hmm. way off way, of course. So you say you're very responsible for your messaging, but yeah. after like a one hour conversation in which we discuss my opinions are basically that yeah, yeah. capitalism vaguely good, communism vaguely bad. Well, no, actually you, you, you kind of that went guy, on a huge- That guy there was a Nazi. No, I, I think like, I said, is, I think I said what I said was, messaging? oh yeah, absolutely. I will stand by that 100%. I think I said was like laughing. I said, oh yeah, I think that guy was, that guy was fucking, definitely fucking Nazi. Oh my God. First of all, in context, it's a little lighthearted, but second of all, um, yeah, after sitting through an hour of you, like, like deliberately, like obviously bad faith trying to gotcha me. And then you self-admitted in this conversation that we had tonight that you did it just to fucking clip chip me, clip chimp me, which, so I mean, there you go. Literally definitionally bad faith. Um, yeah, I don't think I have much of a problem saying, wow, that guy seemed like a fucking Nazi. Yeah, no, that was perfectly fine. Do you not try though? You good, good try. Do you not see the dichotomy? No. Between me trying to farm your you for content and you, and, you, and, you, and you as a public your, figure your, your, saying your, to your, your audience, your case this has person failed. is a category which many of you will think should be killed. I mean, do that I don't know, I I don't know, I don't know anybody. Do you not see how that's irresponsible after a no. one-hour conversation? No, I don't think you've made a, a, a good case for that because I don't think, as far as I know, nobody in my audience has even tried to kill you, um, which I'm sure you could just make oh, it up what? and lie right now. But yeah, it's, um, not, not even close. I, I, not I, even I fucking I'm close. I'm Anita Sarkeesian. Yes, you are. What do you mean? My audience isn't even harassing you. I wouldn't. What yeah, the you're, fuck? You're, you're, you are Anita. You are truly the Anita Sarkeesian I of the am. modern era. Jay Derv, listen. You've got a lot of talent. You're very, very, uh, uh, you're very, very um, performative. And here's what I would recommend. I'm serious right now, okay? Uh, but honestly, you should consider a rebrand. Get rid of the Jay Derv name. Start new. Get start getting onto those some of these politics panels because i have a feeling that if you fucking broke out of the little like i don't know whatever like uh hope you're trying to gather from specific places on the internet whatever drips you're trying to get i have a feeling you could actually fucking do some good shit but you gotta fucking swallow that ego for a little bit and and uh and 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 give up on the clip chimping it's not a, it's not an honest living you do that shit and it eats you away you've got talent i can I, tell I, you're charismatic I, 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 as fuck I, I acknowledge the validity of what you're saying, but what I'm, I want you to understand, I am quite sincerely disturbed by what I see on the, uh, I, you don't like the term alt left, the online left. Okay. I think then why don't the, you try going at it in good faith? Because I could tell you that you could probably yeah, find yeah, some I, am, listen, I can, I can probably acknowledge that me probably radically calling you a tanky was probably irresponsible messaging, but pretty the, bad. Uh, but but the disproportionate harm between me calling you a tanky and you calling me a fucking Nazi to the audience you have 
is like Jader, worlds away. Jader, just worlds let it away. Go. It isn't even close. Nothing bad has even happened. It doesn't happen. I don't have that type of, of pull. My audience doesn't fucking. I have not cultivated. In fact, I've cultivated the opposite of an audience that goes and does that goes out and does shit. I hate that shit. I literally anti. I I anti stan. I have more anti stands than I have stands. And I have a lot of people who've been watching my show for a while, but I don't have any fucking, I don't have stands. I have a million anti-stands, people who hate my guts. And that's because I don't encourage, I don't encourage like obscene, um, like obscene, um, like fucking, uh, cult behavior or parasociality in my audience. I deliberately, deliberately push people to not be like that. Like I'm very, very firm about that. And I always have been. So I don't know where, like where this, you know, where this comes from and i don't know i just i feel like i feel like you're reaching really hard because you have this one thing you want to be true but it would be easier if you have problems with the online left yo we do me too fucking me too dude listen i just think you should be responsible of how you categorize people knowing that how you categorize people results in real world action yeah that's i think I, i'm pretty I'm... careful most of the time uh yeah when you, so, you when so, care. you when i'm of pretty fucking yeah but neither were you you've admitted that. that you engaged in that so i don't fucking give a shit if you're gonna come on here and fucking if you're gonna come on here and like try and call me a tanky and get some stupid gotchas to then immediately immediately serve up to a to a uh to a group that was to a group of people who've literally have been advocating for me to be deplatformed for three months. Yeah, I don't fucking care. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair game, dude. That's totally listen, fair listen. game. What I'm getting this is you Klim chimped me, therefore I don't care if you die. Therefore I don't what? care if someone goes out and murders dude, you. Dude, you, yeah, I don't, you, I don't, I don't no, care. No, that's, come on, that's so, that's so unbelievably dishonest. Not only is there not, I don't think there's a single person in my audience who believes that fucking Nazis should be hunted down and, and hurt. Like, not a single I person. Not, at least one does, from the comments okay. I'm seeing. And <laughs> did, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jay Derv, did that person come for you? Are you, are you in danger right now? Listen, it, are I'm you not in danger right now? Come on. I have, I have, I Yo, have no you doubt. You try to be. You want to be. You have that Twitter account. Me. You're trying to get all that clout on. Come on. Listen, Come if on. they had means to access Come me, they would. They I'm not the hyperbole. Picker. Listen, I'm, me, I'm going to give you another picker. piece of advice. I'm going to give you another piece of advice. Hyperbole can be very useful as a rhetorical tool, but if you push it too hard, people don't buy your shit. It like it's like if you walked into the mall and somebody tried to like give you a, a like a you know a salesperson came up and was like hey uh you want to buy my uh my my fucking makeup kit this makeup kit it will literally extend your penis by three inches and you're just like me that's the level of hyperbole you know that's the thing you gotta you gotta tone down the hyperbole a little bit if you want to sell shit come on Oh, I wish I I wish I could get across. I'm not trying to narrative you because it's something I sincerely believe. But okay, I don't if you know. sincerely believe, <laughs> wait. Listen, so I, I, if it's you're... really early morning when I I ironically have to go, all but right, I do find right. you I do find you sincerely enjoyable. Okay, well, okay. likewise. I, I, I mean, I the thing is, I've had fun. I had fun in our first conversation. Even though I thought it was ridiculously aggressive, and I and I was it was yeah. I was I was dis it was unfortunate that you ended up serving it up to an audience that hates my guts. But whatever. I think that there's room for interesting discussions between us. But again, there's got to be that fucking respect. I'm not going to I'm not going to fucking have convos with you even if I think they're fun as fuck. This was a fun as fuck conversation. But I'm not going to have those convos if you're just going to immediately try to clip chimp me to get these people to fucking deplatform me. That ruins my living. How are you going to be able Listen, to argue with me if I get kicked off the internet, dude? Listen, I don't disagree. All right. I don't disagree. You you are probably correct in that. Okay, I will take that. Okay, but you you have a blessed night. All right, you too. Good night. Goodbye. Good night. Wow, I did not expect, I did not expect to have a good conversation with Jay Derv tonight. Wow, of all the things I didn't expect to have happen, I did not expect to have a good conversation with Jay Derv. That was fun as fuck. What the fuck? That was a fun conversation. Damn, Jay Derv, Jay Derv redemption arc? Maybe.